back now on Try Today, and uh, always glad we can spend a few moments with our good friends from Northern Regional Hospital. In this particular time, we have an expert in the field of preventive medicine, I believe. Very nice uh, lady, Kelly Manuel, who's family nurse practitioner at Northern Family Medicine, and I call it part of the Northern Regional Hospital family, and we welcome you to the show. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Um, how large is your particular practice, and what kind of services do you guys provide? So currently we are a practice that has eight providers, okay. um, two physicians. We have a male and a female physician currently with a second male physician coming in September. And then we have the rest of our APPs. So we have a physician assistant and then um, nurse practitioners. So you're just offering all kinds of, of family practice services, right? Yes. Uh, so we are unique because we offer a lot of services in the practice. We are able to do sutures. We are able to do IV fluids. Um, we can do casting. We have our own x-ray. Wow. Uh, we have our own lab on site. And then we do routine preventative services such as sick visits. Um, because we're rural health, we also do a lot of chronic care management. Right. So uh, a lot of patients see us for their diabetes, their hypertension, as well as sick visits, sinus infections, sore throats. Trying to, uh, you do it all. I think that's just great. Now, uh, for preventative and diagnostic services that go beyond that, mm -hmm. can they just do a hop and a skip to the hospital or yes. how does that work? So we are lucky because we work so closely with the hospital. So if, for instance, you came in and needed an ultrasound, I could actually call the hospital and we could usually get you in same day. There would be some waiting involved, of course, but wow. we all work really well together. And typically the services are done at the hospital, which is a great... Um, relationship there. Right. Um, and then we keep you close to home and the the results are usually within a day or two, which is also nice. Right. I can give testimony. I won't say, you know, what practice or what the problem was, but I, I had a condition and got in the doctor's office, got referred, went to the hospital for the diagnostic, and it, it was pretty cool and great service over there. Hey, since we mentioned diagnostic things, let me pick out a couple uh, mammographies and colonoscopies. So basic question, when should women get their first mammography, basically? So the newest guidelines are saying age 40. However, if there is family history of breast cancer, uh, typically it's a first relative, so a mom, an aunt, a sister. A lot of times your practitioner or your provider will want you to start at 35. Okay. Now let's go to colonoscopy. When should adults, man or woman, uh, get their first colonoscopy? So it always has been age 50. That has been the standard. However, they recently lowered that to age 45. So 45 across the board is when you should start screening. If you have a family history of colon cancer in a first relative, uh, you would start earlier, um, sometimes as early as 35. And these are the kind of things that, that you and your team talk to folks about when they yes. come in, just to remind them, right? Uh, did the COVID pandemic change the type of patients or the way you saw patients or whatever? How did that work? So initially it did. Uh, we were one of the only offices in our region that would see COVID patients or sick symptom patients. So we were balancing your sick patients that potentially could have COVID along with your chronic care patients um, that were coming in for routine preventative health that were well. Right. So we saw a huge intake in sick patients um, and our chronic care patients kind of backed up a little bit. They were a little worried. They were well. They didn't want to put themselves at risk. So it initially changed it. We are starting to see them come back in the office. Our sick visits are declining and it's more your preventative care patients. And of course, if, I, if I'm coming in as a regular patient, uh, even I mean, the, cause the, look, the pandemic is not over and, and there could be somebody who's watching this interview and says, wait a minute, Kelly, I, I, I don't know if I feel comfortable going in yet to the, I mean, do you take any precautions to make us feel yes. more at ease or? So all of us are still wearing masks in our facility in Northern as a, as a whole. Great. Um, when you go to the hospital, they're still screening. So we're still asking about temperature, contact with people. Uh, visitor policy has been lessened um, to allow family to have visitors. And each area has their own visiting policy. But um, we are still taking precautions. We're trying to keep the sick away from the well. Right. Um, and we're trying to do the best that you can. Yeah. My wife always likes to go in the exam room with me in case I cry, <laughs> so, which is often. All right. Here's uh, on screen. Choosenorthern.org is the general website. Or you can call Northern Family Medicine, and correct me if I get this wrong, 786-4133. Is that okay? Yes. In case you want to do it, get an appointment or whatever. Kelly, thanks for all you're doing for folks. Appreciate thanks for it. having us. We'll be right back after this.